entities. And so the idea is that they'll be responsible for their own risks that they take and depositors won't be involved at all. Well, the financial meltdown is three years ago. Why has it taken this long? Because I knew what the bankers were up to. Um, everybody knew that uh, in the city and, uh, well, most people in uh, the House of Commons as well. Three years later, they've suddenly come up with, I know what, we'll stop them gambling with people's money. We'll make them into ordinary banks again. Is that it? Oh, that's right. It's actually a fairly contentious policy. It um, hasn't been done anywhere else in the euro area where you've seen similar um, meltdowns in the financial systems. But not, not in, in, in most countries in Europe. They didn't gamble to the same extent, did they? Uh, well, some countries certainly did. Ireland absolutely did. Um, and they're smaller countries, and so um, that makes a big difference. So what, what, what is the plan? Is it to separate completely sort of investments from deposits? That's the idea, to legally separate them out entirely. Um, that, however, means that in the investment banking arms, which are the riskier but also the more lucrative arms of banks, will have much less to play with. And so banks will probably be less profitable as a result. It also means that the depositing side, which is by far the largest side of every bank, um, will be essentially guaranteed from failure. And so we might see some riskier activities then on the um, retail banking side because banks ultimately seek to make money. And will the European banks be looking and listening to this speech uh, and thinking, OK, we're going to do this as well? Uh, they will. They, they may go down the same route. Um, I think it's probably unlikely. The one thing that Osborne did mention that I think most other European banks are looking to do is to just stuff their banks full of cash to make them safer. So according to the Basel III agreements, the, the Tier 1 capital ratios have to be 7%. Osborne says it should be around 10%. And Germany and Italy have already made moves to achieve the same. And will all this help the UK economy? Uh, it could help the UK economy. I mean, the UK is trying to rebalance its economy away from financial services and domestic demand towards its export sector. And so um, it might help. But ultimately, I think a rebalancing of the economy is necessary anyhow. All right. Megan, we leave it there. Megan Green, thank you.